honk. I mean, boop. Oh my goodness. Hello everyone. What are we going to talk about today, Eddie? We're doing uh, three favorites again, right? The three, no, three, well, the three things that we like about, our three, three favorite things we like about Hollywood Studios. Kind of we did this with the Animal Kingdom the other day. <coughs> so now we're, we're going to talk about separately, what are the three things that we really enjoy about Hollywood Studios? Well, I'm doing our top three again. Okay. Start with the top three. So, I mean, when you think of Hollywood Studios, what's the third your third favorite thing about the parks, then we'll go that way. Just writing down my notes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have any notes. I know, but I'll forget oh. because being married does that to you. <laughs> uh, I really like, and this is this is weird for me to say. Okay. The shopping. Oh yes. I think out of all four parks, mm. <coughs> excuse me, just ate some pita chips and I think one stuck in my throat. Mm, that's good. <sighs> At all the parks, I like the shopping there the best. That one shop, I never remember the name of it. I've got a lot of t-shirts from there. I like where we bought our niece her Your necklace. Oh, her necklace, yeah. You know, I don't remember the name of the store either, but you know what? That's on my list. And actually, I don't really have an order. You know me, I don't have an order. That's honestly one of the first things to think about when I think about well, going catch to Hollywood Studios. catch her after a jog and she does have an odor. Oh my gosh. Um... I think about the shops. I love the shops. I love the um, look of the facades. Like you go down Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood Boulevard, <clears> those two like little streets, and all the little shops are so much fun. Well, the thing I like about most of the shops too is they have like movie memorabilia. There's that one we go into. It's it's an okay shop. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've bought anything from in there, but they have that Gremlin from Gremlins, uh, Spike or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. I like I like that kind of stuff. I Old like movie posters. The it, whole the theme of the whole place is just fantastic. It is cool. I really do like it. The the thing, the one store that is there. What is it? Villains something. Villains is in the title of the store. Yeah. And it drives me crazy because I want to go in there and like it be like tons of villain stuff, and it's not really. I don't know. Is it? I mean, I don't think. No. I mean, they may have some things in there that are villain items, but it's they, just They not, just sell everything just like everywhere else It's does. not villain-centric. Yeah. And I wish it would be because... Because she'd love to go by there and buy Cruella de Vil puppy fur. Oh, my gosh. Made from real puppies. I did see um, in one of the other stores, and maybe it's across from that store, but almost on the corner. Sorry. We love the shops. We don't know any of the names of the shops. But um, there I saw a R2-D2... No... No, not R2-D2. I love Star Wars, but obviously not, I don't know, I'm not a fan enough to know all the stuff, but it's an AT-AT. So the big walker things in Empire Strikes Back. Oh, okay. It was on a poodle skirt. So instead of like, it was a big skirt and it had like the little, like the, like you would have like a, the leash on there, but at the end of the leash was an AT-AT or at, -AT, whatever you call it. Um, I thought it was really cute. I mean, it was expensive. I'm not saying it wasn't cute. It was My cute. Was like, I don't I, know what it's called. I did point it out to you. Do you yes. remember? I thought it was really, like, cute and creative. Like, if I was a fangirl, like, super crazy hyper on Star Wars, I would have been like, ah. Um, but, yeah, I like. I agree with you. I love the shops there. Yeah. So that's on your list? So I can go to it's my It's on my list. Go to your next one. Uh, my next one is the Hollywood Brown Derby. Oh, my gosh. We are so, like, woo, woo. I was going to say that too. That's not like a... <laughs> Eating there twice and just love the food. I was going to even be more specific and say, oh my gosh, I love the beef carpaccio. <laughs> I just, I just, the Hollywood Brown Derby is the way to go. It's it, what, two dining credits, so if you're on the dining is, plan. If you're on the dining plan, it's worth two dining credits. If you're not and you're going to pay for it out of pocket, be prepared to pay a pretty Boku penny. Bucks. Yeah, over $100 for two people, for sure. I mean, especially if you get the most expensive... Um, entree on the menu which i've got both times it's so damn good but it though. is so good the beef filet is like 49 dollars. oh but it's so good oh so my gosh tender. yes and it comes with mm. potatoes so now i am hungry mm, yes um but this last time around i know if you guys have seen our videos from when we were there well actually when we got back but we were there <laughs> We got back, we, we uploaded them, but we were there, we recorded, and I was raving about the beef carpaccio. It's an appetizer, if you don't know what it is. Basically, it has little um, thin slices of beef on a bed of lettuce. It had like capers, and it had this yummy like dressing, and I don't like salad. 
but I ate the whole thing. It was so good. They should revamp the menu, menu and say it comes with the great Muppet capers. <laughs> but I love the Hollywood Brown. We have never tried the lounge, which is on the outside, so if it's hot out, it might not be as nice and cozy as inside, but I have read that they have their own like little own little menu, that sliders and some kind of tapas menu out there, but they all you can also order from the main menu, I think. No idea. You gotta go there though. It's great. Hollywood Round Derby. Yes. All right, you want my number one? What is your number favorite number one thing about Hollywood Studios? It's Tower of Terror. We are so, like, we match with everything with that. It, it's not just the ride, it's even the freaking queue. It, the Whether queue, you're outside yes, the building or yes. inside the building. And I want to say it's, it's one of the few rides throughout Disney World, because I can think of maybe a couple others, mm -hmm. where the cast members seem to be in character. They are really in character. Now don't get me wrong, occasionally you get someone just going through the motions, how many in your group, go stand over there, pull my finger. <laughs> but not too many. But occasionally you get someone who's like really into it going, how many in your group, pull my finger. <laughs> I mean, not only the queue, but like, I mean, like you said, like if you're at the end of, I think that's on Sunset Boulevard, I don't know, or Hollywood Boulevard, one of those boulevards. When you're even at the end and you see it at the end of the street and it's looming in front of you, it's just this, and then you get closer and you hear the screams, you go in the queue, is so meticulous, the theming is amazing, and then when you get done with the attraction and you go into the gift shop, because you know there's a gift shop at the end of every ride. And that is one of my favorite gift shops, But too, it's very themed to the ride as, yeah, as well. You can get a Hollywood Tower Terror bathroom. Yes, and it actually has like, it's the, it says the Hollywood Tower. It doesn't say Tower of Terror. It says Hollywood, Hollywood. Tower. Oh, yeah. Like you're actually staying oh, yeah, there. Like HTH for yeah. the, Holly, or the Hollywood Tower. TH. I forget how it goes. Yeah, but it's not. It doesn't say the Tower of Terror. It Ooh, says the Hollywood say Tower. Hollywood Tower. Hotel. Terror robe instead Ho of Terry robe. <laughs> instead of Terry cloth. I'm full of ideas. Terror today. cloth. Yeah, I think it's the Hollywood. Tower Hotel. Is yeah, so she's HGH. So it yeah. is HGH. So they have robes, they have the hats. Don't they have like the little hats? Yeah, the, the little bellhop hats. The bellhop hats. hats. Yeah, have they got like a bell. They have right. a bell. We got our, our uh, oh, I love these little guys. These little, we got the whole collection of these little. Some sums, sum -sums. as we call them. This is Zoom -zooms. Mickey in a bathrobe. Yes. We got, uh, is this, this, this is Goofy. No, that's Goofy. Okay. This is Goofy oh, as right. a bellhop. Yes. Uh, they There's got Pete. Pete also as a bellhop. Yes. He's different. You can tell by his ears. And, he his, has, and his, he has like his demeanor. His eyes look like mean. He's grumpy. You've got Minnie who's the star of the show. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> You've got Daisy who I guess is kind of portraying the child actress. The little, the little kid, yes. S yes. And then what's the last one? The last one's my favorite. Yes, it is. Donald Duck as the director. He's the director. And so these are all the kind of the characters from if you've been on the attraction and the little backstory of the attraction, what they tell you and how there's a group of people in, um, they were staying at the hotel and they were in the elevator and there was a bad storm and lightning struck. And, and they, the bratty kid they killed them all. No, they like uh. disappeared. So then you go in and you're going to go to your room and you get in the elevator and it gets all crazy and it's going up and down and up. And I never thought I would like that ride because I do not like those falling rides. But I think it's mo mostly like the rides that are, when you're like sit just sitting like in a chair kind of like and you're outdoors and you have the harness all on you and it takes you way up and then just drop you. Oh, no, mm -mm, not, not doing that. Yeah. But this. It's different. It's way different. And the theming, the backstory, it never gets old. It is always awesome. Yeah, it's when I think of Hollywood Studios. And again, this list doesn't have to be out about attractions, but you cannot not mention, I think, the best themed attraction at, in the whole Walt Disney World. You don't have to mention it if you want. Tell us what your top three are for Hollywood Studios. Yes. Like this video. Yes. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please. It's free. It is. And we're trying. For Christmas, she wants to get up to 25 subscribers. We are not there. We have, we're at 17 currently. I mean, this video, we might watch this when we have a thousand. She says if we get up to 25 subscribers, <laughs> she will not slap me for New Year's Eve. And maybe I'll actually get a kiss this year. Normally I get a slap. So 
get some more people subscribed to our video so I don't get slapped. Because if you like me, you don't want to get slapped. If you don't like me, get us less subscribers, and then we'll do a video of you just slapping me. Whatever oh works. Oh my gosh. Right? Whatever whatever gets us uh abusive. Comments. Comment on our video. <laughs> yes. Do you want to see me slapped? <laughs> what are your favorite things in Hollywood Studios? Yes. And if Do you I haven't ever been there, have you face? have you heard of any of these things? What have you heard about that you would really like to try? Do you have a what? Slappable face? No. You have a kissable face. Ooh, right? see, you scared me just by <laughs> raising your hand. <laughs> and share this video. Uh -huh. Friends, if you like it. Enemies, if you don't like it. <laughs> totally up to you. Player's choice. Oh, my goodness. And there's many other things coming to Hollywood Studios in the future that you could add to your favorites list. Uh, only if you get on them. I don't want to hear that the Slinky Dog roller coaster is your favorite if I know it's not even open yet. So don't lie to me. I'll know. <laughs> and then you might be able to slap me in the face. There's something there that actually, when when we get there See? next year, when we get there next year, we and we swing by and maybe for half a day, there's that new uh, bar what? area over oh, yeah. by the Muppets yeah, yeah, yeah. attraction. Yeah. Gotta go to the bar. That has like uh, pretzels and little, a few little snackies. So, and I've heard nothing but awesome things about that place. So, all right. So that's it. Like, yeah. subscribe, comment, share. share. Do all those things. Please. 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 Yes. She will slap me. Um, and then stay tuned for more tall tales. And short stories. <laughs> that's what you sound like when you say, and short stories. Okay. Or you could be like Charlie Brown's teacher. Okay. <laughs>